Hello guys, this is Amos Soul Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play this Fortnite dance and make music called Backstroke. Okay, so here we go, give you a preview before we start learning it, it goes like this. But anyway, afterwards, obviously, you can make it with more improvisations. You can do like. Alright, but anyway, let's get right into it. So, the basic melody and chords first, because that makes up the foundation for anything else you add on afterwards. So, here we go. Break it up into two parts so is easier to learn. Okay, so here we go. The first part goes like this. Right hand, we have um, two groups of eight A's in a row, so essentially 16 A's in a row. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then up to C for eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, down to G for six times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then up to C, B. And that's it for the first part. Okay, that's that. One more time, it goes like this. Two groups of eight A's. Okay, so 16 eights in a row. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and eight C's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Down to G four six times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then up to C B like that. But it's continuous. It's like this. <laughs> That, okay, make sure it's continuous like that for the right hand. Left hand is what we have, so four chords. Four chords are A minor twice, which is A, C, E, so two of them. Third chord is C major, which is C, E, G, and fourth chord is G major, which is G, B, D. All right, so with these four chords in mind, so A minor twice, C major, and G major, the two hands together goes like this, A and A minor together, and the ninth A and A minor together, C and C major together, G and G major together, that and that's it for the first part. So you remember it's continuous, it goes like this. So like that. Okay. So yeah, it's like uh, every eight notes you play together. Okay, so essentially the first note, the ninth note, the uh, 17th note, etc. Okay, so you just add it. Okay, quick maths, awesome. Okay, but anyways, so yeah, just like that, and now we have the first part out of the way. Okay, now moving on to the um, Second part, okay? Right hand continues, a little bit different this time. It goes eight A's, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, down to F for eight times, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, up to C for eight times, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, down to G for six times, one, two, three, four, five, six, down to E, G, and that's it for the second part for the right hand. It's a little bit different compared to the first part. Let's do it again. So it goes eight A's, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, down to F for eight times, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, up to C for eight times, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, down to G for six times, one, two, three, four, five, six, down to E, G, and that's it for the right hand. All right, so yeah, that's that for the right hand for the second part. So remember, it's continuous like this. Alright, that's it for the right hand there. Left hand, four chords here, the four chords are A minor, which is A, C, E. Second chord, F major, which is F, A, C. Third chord, C major, which is C, E, G. And fourth chord, G major, which is G, B, D. Alright, so with these four chords in mind, so A minor, F major, C major, G major, the two hands together goes like this, A and A minor together. F and F major together. C and C major together. G and G major together. One more time, it goes like this. Like that. All right, so yeah, that's that. Now, um, yeah, back to back, the two parts we've learned here would be play like this, check it out. Do, if you don't want to do repeating um, the notes with the same finger, you can do the repeating finger technique if you want. You can be like. Like that, okay? 
It's up to you, it doesn't really matter. But anyway, after you get all the melody and chords of this right, all the notes and rhythm, then you can start to think of other improvisation patterns you can put into it to make it more awesome. You can do a really simple one like how I did it. It's just like just the lower note followed by high two notes. It's like... Improvisation like octave and arpeggio patterns on the left hand and harmonize with the right hand is up to you, it doesn't matter. Yeah, so many variations you can do. But anyway, so that's that. Hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, make sure to check out the rest of my channel because literally there are multiple thousands and thousands and thousands of other videos like these for you to enjoy and learn from. So most likely you can like find your favorite song to learn on my channel. Essentially, if you're a Fortnite enthusiast, you can pretty much find like pretty much all the Fortnite songs for you to learn on the piano, like whether it's like the dances or whatever, you can check it out, okay? Just do a search and see it for yourself, okay? But anyway, also check out my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me, learn how to play by ear, improvise, read sheet music, play and sing, and a lot of other cool stuff. So make sure to check it out, enjoy your time around my channel, and see you next time. Thanks for watching. For those who want to learn my methods on how to play any song by ear, grab the free preview of my book. Or just visit my website, bestpianomethod.com, for all my other piano mastery courses, sheet music, song requests, and services. All the links are in the description below. See you next time.